guys, it's Morgan from the Beach Classroom or Miss Grassy. Um, today I wanted to do a video on how to get on Zoom, like how to download Zoom um, for my parents and just anybody that wants to use it. And then also um, in the video, I'm going to put how to schedule a Zoom meeting. Um, so that way if you're a teacher watching this, then you can figure out how to schedule a meeting. I was doing Google Hangout. We did like a morning and an afternoon session um, yesterday on day one, and it was a lot. It was just kind of like the screens were jumping all over, and then in the afternoon session, there was more than five kids or something, so then I couldn't see everyone on the screen, and um, when they would like shout out, it would like make their screen um, bigger, and which is fine, like they're five and six, like we're still working on it, but um when I did the Zoom and then I was doing it in a browser, which the same thing was happening, like everyone was jumping back and forth. Um, but once I downloaded it to my computer, I did it like while they were on with me because um, I needed people to stay on so I could see how it works. And they were awesome. So they stayed on and I figured it out. Um, they were all on their phone. So like if your parents um, have um, or like like if your classroom parents have phones at home, um, like this is super simple uh, for them to get on. Some of them I could see that they were on an iPad and then I was on the computer. Um, I personally like it on the computer because I could see all the screens, but they said that they could see like four and then they were swiping through to see the different screens. So that was awesome. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, if you have any questions, you can feel free to email me um, or comment down below and I can reach out and help you. So yeah, here we go. Okay, so I just like typed in Zoom download and then um, I just looked for the link that says download, clicked on it. And then um, I uh, downloaded it um, for in Google Play. Um, a little thing pops up on the bottom that says like keep or discard. I kept it, I had already downloaded it, so like it's not gonna be the same as when I downloaded it. But um, right now I'm exiting out of it because I already did it, but you would just press keep and let it download like a normal app. And then um, when you want to go find it, just type in Zoom like in your search menu and then um, you'll see it kind of just comes up. And then um, when you have it there, um, you can put in the code that like whoever gave it to you. Um, or you could probably sign in maybe, I'm not really sure, and um, like join your meetings. Um, and then it was super easy and I was able to see all the screens. Okay, so now that you've downloaded Zoom, even though you can use it in a browser, I'm going to show people how to set up a meeting um, to send to their families at home. So you click on my account, which I'm assuming that you would have already signed up to so to sign up. Then you're going to go to meetings. And I already scheduled my one for tonight. So I'm going to schedule a new meeting. I'm going to call it kindergarten morning session. To me for tomorrow and then we've been doing 8 30. Oops. And that has been working for us. Just a half hour. We actually stayed on for a while today. Yesterday we were on for like five minutes. Um and then um I just have been like generating it. Um for the video, I turned it on. A lot of them were doing it on the phone, so I just have both. Um, you can like let them join before you are in. Um, like you can just you could record it in case, like say you were like teaching a lesson and then um, you wanted other kids to see it, you could record it. Um, I'm not doing that, so then um, you just press save. And then what's really cool is you can add it to your Google Calendar. So I go here. So as you can see, um, I already like have my one scheduled and pink shows that it's like my class can go on it. Um, so I'm gonna click on 
kindergarten morning session for tomorrow. And what I want to do is you could share it like with whoever you want, but I want to copy it to my um, Popsicle classroom. So you have to have like a group set up for that and a calendar set up for that. And then um, it's all the same information. You can add different guests, like if I wanted to add my boss on or whatever. And then um, just press save and it will go on to their calendar. And as you can see, it's like pink is tomorrow. And then tonight we have it on here. So that's really cool too.